Some materials are better insulators than others. At this learning station, you will compare various materials to determine which is the best insulator. You might also make some other discoveries along the way. Before you begin, please ensure that you have all of the needed equipment. You will need two beakers, a kettle, a data logger along with the temperature probes, two boxes of roughly the same size and big enough to fit over top of one of the beakers, and you will also need the materials that you are going to test. To test the ability of different materials to insulate, we are going to measure their effect on the cooling rate of a beaker of water. You will insulate a box with various materials and then place it over top of the beaker and observe the cooling curve. Before we can test the abilities of our various materials to insulate our box, we're going to need a control test. So we are going to monitor the cooling rate of the beaker of water underneath an uninsulated box. So pour your hot water into your beaker and pour out 300 milliliters into the measuring beaker. Then place your box over top of your beaker. Remember, do this very carefully. And then put your temperature probe through the hole that you make in the top of the box. And then measure the temperature changes over time, either using the meter function on your data logger or the easy log function. If you use the meter log function, you'll need to record down the data at every 30 seconds. And you might want to use a chart like this. While we're using the data logger to record the cooling of the water, also record any changes in outside temperature using the internal thermometer on your data logger. And that is the sensor number five on your screen. Now you're ready to test your insulation materials. Insulate your boxes using the materials of your choice. I have chosen foil as well as a thick cloth. You may choose whatever material you would like. I have simply wrapped my boxes in the materials and secured it with tape. Please remember to put a hole in top of your box to allow the temperature probe to be inserted. Because the data loggers have two probes with them, you can measure two materials at once, or you can measure one at a time. To test your insulated boxes, you will follow the same procedures that you use to test your uninsulated box. So, pour 300 milliliters of hot water into each of your beakers. Then, cover each of your beakers with one of your boxes, ensuring that your temperature probe goes into the water. Then use your data logger to record the changes in temperature. You can use either the meter function or the easy log function on your data logger. If you use the meter function, be sure to record down the temperature readings of each beaker at 30 second intervals and record it on a chart. Also remember to record down the room temperature readings that you get from using the internal thermometer of the data logger. Take readings for at least 10 minutes and then compare your results.